Very cool, cool. This is dedicated to Nightmare Before Christmas. We are Tim Burton fans here. That this is, is a classic. These are awesome. This is, I can't wait for you to unbox them all. This is cool. Okay, Nightmare Before Christmas. We got, well, you do the talking. Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. I'm Sammy from Sammy's Collectible Toy Soul and today we are gonna be looking at two actually. So we're gonna be looking at um, Funko Vinyls, um, a Sally and Jack Skellington and then we're gonna be looking at Funko Pop, Jack Skellington and Sally and we're also gonna be looking at Zero. Cool, all right, well, so let's unbox them. We'll save you guys the unboxing time and let's just cut to the chase and look at these cool Funko Pops. Let's do it. All right, exciting. Okay, so let's start off with mine. So mine is this Jack, this Zero, and this Sally. Okay, I'm just doing a wide shot here of all of them. That's very pretty, okay. All right, so all right, let's, let's start, start off your... with the Jack and Sally. Okay, so this is Sally, um, and if you don't know who Sally is, she's from A Nightmare Before Christmas, like all of the other, like all of these characters, and she's ba and she was created by like a doctor, and she can basically like take take her her body parts off because she was created. She's like Frankenstein almost, a female yeah. version of Frankenstein, and almost can... like from Monster High. What's her name, Frankie? Yeah, and she can sew herself back together. Okay, she's cool. So she's what is she holding there? She's basket. She's holding the little basket that she gives to Jack. Okay, next we have. Zero, our one and only zero. He's a dog puppy, ghost, he's and he's got his little pumpkin nose. So he's basically a ghost puppy. You want to show everyone that there's a little bit of articulation with him too. Yeah, you can actually do some articulation with Zero. You can turn his head around very smoothly. Okay, cool, all right. Zero was actually pretty hard to find. All right, next, our um, main antagonist of- Jack Skeleton. Of Nightmare Before Christmas, Jack Skeleton. Now, <clears throat> This one's green. Yeah, so we're not quite sure why it's green. Green, it's a variant, but uh, I guess he came out of the the <laughs> the the fountain, I guess, when I you, at know. the beginning, and he's still green. But I anyway, don't know. that was my assumption. Yeah. So, anyways, he's he's green. He's got a tinge of green on him. But anyway, I don't know if it was like they're trying to imitate a lighting. Yeah. yeah. So kind of strange, but it still looks really good. Yeah. All right. So there's those ones, Funko Pops. Now we have the Funko Pop vinyls. I really like the way these ones look. We thought originally they couldn't stand, but then we realized uh, they come with stands. Yeah, thank goodness, because I was I was getting flustered. I'm like, I'm like, this is why can't they stand upright? Are they having the storm posture issue? Oh my god! Yeah, the vertigo going on, but they don't. So anyway, um, I think it's confirmed. We were having the I'm like, what's this bow tie? Is it a cat? There's a bat. It's a bat. See, that confirms it right there. That is. Because he has the little wings right there. Yeah, that's right. So anyway. I had a whole entire bait. Is it a bat? Is it a cat? Is it a Very bat? vintage Tim Burton. It's got the Beale Juice suit, whatever. I mean, you see a lot of Beale Juice in Nightmare Before, Before Christmas. Christmas. Just beautiful, beautiful A artwork. lot of references. Yeah. And amazing stop animation. And then there's... Sally. Yeah, so there's, there's basket. actually a if you look at the basket, yeah, the baskets are a little bit different. So this one, she's got a kind know, of like a kind of like a uh, tannish kind and of. And she's got like a dead fish in there that I guess that she's gonna basically devour yeah. or Good. give to her scientist guy. And then in this one, she's just got a, a bottle, green bottle. Maybe she's gonna have a little bit of whiskey with Jack after the ending there with, no, the, no. Pale, with the pale moonlight on the spiraling hill. Ooh, la, la. And then I realized that the dresses are also different. So my uh, my Sally has a pink. A pink is her dress is pink, and then this one she has pink and a bunch of other splotches and a, a, a patch of tan. Nice. Okay. So there's differences with the, these. And another thing I realized about them, this Sally has the stitches showing on her arms, but this one has zero stitches on her arms. Okay, so the little details there. Excellent catch, Sammy. All right, so let's move them over here and... Their, her, their hair, the hair is also different. One of them's longer and there's different kinds of colors. Cool, all right, now let's do our ranking. So I'm gonna do a wide shot here, one to five. All right, rank them. Here we go. Who's your number one out of these five Uncle Pops from Nightmare Before Christmas? All right, you go first. No, I'm asking you. You're this is oh. Sammy's toy collectibles. Oh. oh, this is not this is not Dad's toys. No, I got Well, actually, okay. actually, these two are. But okay. all right, we'll keep the how. All right, anyway, okay. all right. Well, rank them. Here we go. So, 
We got Screaming Baby in the background. Let's go before we have to do a voiceover here. All I'll right. go with Sally. Sally is your number one. Okay, cool. I honestly really like Sally. Yeah, she's cool. She looks, she really pops out. Get it? Pops out. <laughs> yeah. yeah, okay. Next. I'll go with Zero. Okay. Zero is very cute. Okay, number three. Then I'll go with uh, your Funko Pop. But out of the two, out of the two. See, so this is one, two, and then who's going to be number three? I guess your Jack will be number three. Cool, okay. And this will be number four, and uh, my Jack will be number five. Okay. I, the only reason why I don't like this one is because it's green, and it kind of confuses me. We are trying to find a white one, like, all day, but we couldn't find one. We will. We will. We will find We will find one. Okay, but I agree with your ranking. But it's kind of confusing why it's green. Like, I don't it's like a variant, almost. But anyway, I think we can probably find a Jack Skeleton. with. The, there's a lot of new releases, but... But it's kind of confusing, though. Like, I don't really understand why it's green. Green, but still it still well, looks cool. you know what someone drop a comment and you know the, you you know some of your like, Funko Pop collectors anybody... if you guys can drop a comment and verify why this Jack Skeleton is green and maybe also... he's going Incredible Hulk oh my God. maybe maybe he's getting angry that he, he basically I uh, was dropping off weird toys to kids in Christmas oh. line oh, no. the, the best scene is when he drops off the the one decapitated kid head to uh, the one kid Oh my uh, that God. was fantastic. It was a brilliant, like, brilliant and writing. And you want to know another really confusing thing for me here? On the box, it shows he's white. And there's a very big comparison between the two. Like, did they accidentally, like, make a couple of these and um, it just turns out like this, but they didn't want to go back, so they just made some and gave them out to people? Maybe, 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 maybe. Anyways, drop the comments below and let us know. So It could be some random variant. I don't know. Anyway. Knows. That's our ranking, so they look cool, so we'll definitely get another Jack Skeleton for Samantha, you can see she's, you know, he looks cool, but the green, but compared to this one. Um, that's pure white. Yeah, I love this one, yeah, this one's cool. These are cool, I like the vinyl ones. Minus the I, that's what they're doing now, they're spelling it V-N-Y-L, minus the I, I know. Alright, sign off time. But anyways guys, thank you for watching this video, don't forget to hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit that notification bell so you know notified every single time we make a video. And if you haven't watched Nightmare Before Christmas, definitely watch it. Yeah, it's brilliant. They just the cinematography wise, it's just, it's, it's, it's fun to watch it, man. And the stop motion must have taken forever. Oh yeah, and it was made in 1983, so that means they started producing it probably in 1990. So it, so basically this movie started getting production like 30 years ago. Yeah, so that's great, it's crazy. And when you watch it now, it hasn't aged. That's what makes it a classic. Anyway, okay. I, f I think they should come out, out with a vinyl, a Funko vinyl zero, a zero. They, I think they do have one, but. But they should have, my only complaint about these is they should have added one with this set. But other than that, it's really good. Yeah, well, I'm sure they will. So, or they maybe they already have. So, anyway, guys, take care. Have a good night. And make sure you like, subscribe. And hit that notification bell. Yeah, that's right. All right. See you guys next one. Goodbye. Take care, everyone. Mm -hmm.